There are two main methods of winding a flower loom, the flat wrap and the layered wrap. The flat wrap creates flat flowers like this one. This one's made of paper. The layered wrap creates more three-dimensional flowers like this one. You can see here. The difference is most obvious when you're using bulky yarn or ribbon straw. I'm going to show you how to do the layered wrap. I'm using a Studio 12 multi fleur loom for this tutorial. Anchor your yarn in one of the slots under your loom. You can tape it if you're worried about damaging your yarn by putting in the slot. To make the layered wrap, take the yarn up to the top of your loom and then back down to the bottom in a figure eight. Now go over to the next peg. You can turn it if you prefer. And come straight back down to the bottom. Continue going all the way around the loom in this way. You'll be work going around each set of pegs just once. I've gone all the way around once. I want three loops on each of my petals, so I'm going to go all the way around again and then a third time. I'm just going to do that and then show you. I've gone all the way around my loom three times and now I'm just going to fasten off the yarn in the slot at the bottom. If you want to use the same colour to stitch the centre of your flower then leave about three feet of yarn. I'm going to stitch mine in a different colour so I'm just going to cut that off, leaving about four to six inches. And that is how you do the layered wrap. I'm going to show you how to stitch either a back stitch or stem stitch centre for your flower in another video. And you'll find those videos by clicking on these links here.